Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where today we are back playing some more Skyrim. Now, Skyrim is a very, very cool game. Now, the thing we're going to be looking at, and if you looked a little bit, if you looked at my other video, you could see that right left Cradle Stone Tower, there would be trolls. I found two this time. And there's the trolls bane on this man. So, but if you go right straight this way, then you will find a very unique location and this is a quest that we will be taking a look at right now so i've created almost a brand new character i've been using some mods just to help you guys get the basic idea of the quest and i'm gonna help you get through this So, you meet with Valdar. Leave, stranger. Evil stirs in this place. I fear for the security of the very land if it should break free. What evil do you mean? We stand at the tomb of Hednorak, who has been dead for many generations. I fear, however, that his return may be at hand. There must be a way to stop I this. I have been holding him here. While he regains strength, however, I am fading. By now, I can barely contain his power, much less defeat him if he awakens. But with the help of a living champion, I may be able to succeed. Then I will help you. What must be done? You would do this? Three vessels in the tomb below hold the power to vanquish at Norak. Before anything else, we need those. Bring them to me, but be careful, mortal. They are guarded by Norak's minions. They will stop at nothing to see their master return. Then it'll start evil in waiting. You can actually find this ancient Nordic or ancient Nord helmet and this is his thing now if he if he with those three vessels have Norak can restore himself why do you Find fear have Norak he, he had a way of enthralling people and built up a loyal army of followers good men fell under his spell and were forever twisted, made evil. After that, fear was enough to keep them in line. He could torture and humiliate them, and they would not rebel. Even in death, they serve him still. What was I doing again? Now this is just a thing I'm asking, and... Why are you here? We've already known this, he is... Hivnorak planned his resurrection obsessively before yep. dying. His record, he... My anyway, you walk over here. Now, make sure to just look around, make sure, because at some point this might update and at get a chest added. I haven't actually looked around yet in this area. So maybe there's a chest. There's probably not, but... So there's no chest. Anyway, let's head into Bathu. So now that we've entered this area, what you want to do is you want to walk straight this way. And just head to the right until you get over here. Now, make sure to be aware of the traps. They will do 
stuff. There's a restless draugr here. Let's just kill this man. Just note that this is, I've got a very bad weapon, but I do, I am using some little things to make sure that I can give the basic thing and stuff. So I won't really die that easily, but I still have to make a fight. Make sure to check these draugers. It will be really useful. So right here, you can walk down here, but there's, there's a door. This door is barred from the other side. That's how you get out at the end. Anyway, so when you walk, you can actually see him right there. Walk over and the other way. Now, if you're wondering where he goes, all you need to do is just do some parkour. Jump. Jump. And you can actually... I have no idea where he goes, but you can find an ebony shield and search this chest. You can get some poison and some potions and some gold. It randomizes every character, so make sure to see what you get. And if you fall down, don't worry, there's some draugr. You can get a key from them to get out. But right now... I'm just gonna ignore that. And let's head this way. This is actually how you get down. This is actually how you get up from this area from when you fall down. Now, let's head straight over here. But before we do that, make sure to loot this chest. There's some gold in it. There's also some people you might not want to mess with them. I've never actually triggered them before. But this is actually just a restless jogger. So make sure to just grab everything that you can after you kill all of these people. But if you... Now, once you hit one of those, it triggers a whole lot of more droggers. So way more droggers will end up spewing out somewhere. I have no idea where they are. Oh, they're under there. They're down in the other... They're down there. Anyway, let's head over here. Make sure not to just smack those, because that could lead to death. But if you walk in here, there are some potatoes. Make sure to grab that, because you might need them. There's a skull. You can have it if you want. Inserts weapons, like a saw, we can, there's a mace, woodcutter's axe, nothing that really is a thing that I'd want to take. But, you can walk in here and find some skeevers. Make sure to kill these, because you might, well, you probably want to kill them. Make sure to not activate those, ow. But, he walked that way. But, maybe you're wondering, how do I get in there? Well, first, you want to go through this door. Right to the left of when you see this. Then you'll pull the lever to the left. And you can walk straight in. Once you do that, you can walk up this little area. And this guy, this... Dra this Draugr Death Lord will come out and he will sometimes even um well he'll sometimes even be mean and disarm me so now I have to re-equip this you better not do this again Right now, I'm just... Now, I'm just gonna... 
use my foos because I haven't really done the main quest yet, but this is just a little smack on the head for him. And boom, he's dead. Make sure to loot his body. You can get an ebony axe. And take the vessel. Then you can walk right back out and this door will be open. Next, you can walk through this little area and find these Draugr waiting. Now, make sure to grab this regeneration potion, potion and these other things. These like other stuff. It'll be good for like ingredients and like food to eat. Make sure to hide from these scorches because these guys are very, very strong. Well, sometimes. really helping this mod but this is helping me get through this so you want to make sure that you try like absolutely destroy these guys because you may want to do that so the first time I ever even entered this dungeon everything that was in plain sight I couldn't see You've got to be very wary of this area. You need to make sure you look at every detail. But, now that we've done this, you can actually unlock this iron door. And then you'll get led into this area. Make sure to take the potions that you want. And just, some of these are even skill books. I don't know which ones. But you can take a look through those. There's also a chest with potions and gold. The burial urn. Just grab the stuff. And then you can head out down the stairs. Now, if you go down the stairs, you will be able to find this dead man. Now, if you guys want to make these guys fall off and just turn into like big pile of bones, just take their heads and they'll just fall off the wall. I don't know how this is actually real logic, but it works in Skyrim at least. Yeah, I like to just steal all of their faces. Now, you can actually just search like everything in this area. Just grab everything you want. You can search these urns, there's a ring. But, you can go through this little area right here and it leads you over into the little area which is actually where you saw from this spot right here. You can actually loot all this stuff. And then just make your way back out. Right through this little hallway made of stone. And if you really wanted to, you can just Lock it off again. I'd say just so you know that you've been here. Open it back up. Anyway, if you're still wondering if you didn't watch this area, it's right through that hallway. Anyway, you walk through here and you go into the Vathum Catacombs. Once you enter the... The the Sathum Sathum catacombs. You end up entering this place with a bunch of spiders. 
Now, if you are very wary of that, this is a trapped chest. Make sure that you... Okay, make sure that you unlock this chest. Now, now that you've unlocked this trap chest, these spiders won't come out. But, as you can see, there's a giant spider. But there are little spiders, but the giant spider won't come out. But, if you do want to see this, this spider, you're gonna have to do it on your own. But, there's no reason to go back in these other than this dead man falling. But, apart from that, that's like all other than some spider webs and stuff. But, what you really wanna do is go up here, take their heads, and just steal their fate, their gold from their face. Right here, unlock the door, make sure to kill the Draugr. I like to use that, just kill the Draugr. Make sure to loot all of these dead corpses that are lying on the ground. Make sure to kill every oh. single thing. Oh. Now, if you didn't know, Draugr weights are actually one of the tougher Draugr in the game. So make sure to just smack their faces and yeah, don't let them survive. Now, activate this chain and walk and just make sure that the the Draugr Scourge doesn't sneak attack you and I think may have activated this man yep Stupid. Yeah, don't let them ruin it all for you. Make sure that Draugr Scourge doesn't come out of nowhere. Make it so you have to fight two of them at once. Now, that Draugr Scourge is just super scared of me. I don't know why, but... But, you can loot his body... I don't know what I just grabbed, but I grabbed it on accident. You can grab this. Make sure to grab these soul gems. So then, cause these will activate fire when you're walking through the little hallway right here. Then walk down here. Make sure to kill all of the Draugr that jump out because, well, why on earth would you want to have to fight Draugr? No. Unless you're a crazy man like me. Now, Draugr Scourge is probably the toughest normal Draugr. Instead of the Death Lord, this is probably the toughest Draugr. Now, you will encounter almost every single Draugr that I encounter right now. Stop Fusro dying me! I just woke up this man. Sorry, you were sleeping. How did you even sleep through all the racket right now? Now I just killed that man, now I need to kill the Draugr way. Now just make sure to loot their bodies. 
especially their gold and maybe if they have like gems but right here make sure to grab this you can close that back if you want but these burial runs you can search but I'm not gonna spend time but I am going to kill this man this better not be a Draugr Scorch. Okay, they're both Draugr Way. Whoa, jeez. Make sure to just smack their faces. Also search the chest, it'll give you some gold. And you can just jump down here. Don't worry, none of these droggers will jump out at you. Just don't worry, make sure to sh do this stuff. Other than this guy, he won't actually jump out at you unless you start attacking him. But, now we can head through this door into a bunch of frostbite spiders. Great! I love spiders! Oh my gosh! Spiders, there we go. I killed the spiders. And, iron claw. Yep, make sure to avoid that. And now, if you guys don't know how to use a claw somehow, Go here, go to the Iron Claw, and just look at the symbols. So this is Dragon, Eagle, Wolf. So this is actually the same one that I got last time I actually went to the dungeon. So, it looks like it doesn't change. So, dragon, eagle, and then it'll turn to dragon. Dragon, eagle, wolf. And then it'll just turn to dragons. But if you try dragon, 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 it works. It does not work. I've tried it a bunch on different doors. But there's a... Tr I'm just gonna grab this. Grab this. Now, this will lead us into a different quest at some other time. This spawns randomly in the chests. So, I'm not gonna pick this up just yet. Now, I'm gonna be back. Okay, I am back. Now let's head into the Elder Scrolls V again. And just battle these people until they die. Oh my gosh. Where did my weapon go? Gimme. Now I need to get this again. Okay, let me favorite this and get this. Now you're dying first. You are not disarming me. I guess I can kill this restless jogger. But I don't want this to this guy to disarm me again. So I'm just trying to hit this guy with all I've got. Okay, now the scourges.
now that we've killed all the scourges, now we can actually get out of here alive. Oh yeah, make sure to loot their bodies. You can find some pretty cool stuff on them. And that cool stuff means gold. Not that much gold, but... It's fun gold. Anyway. Now that we're walking through this area, let's head back. Actually, no, no, no. When we're here, I actually forgot about the way. Just head over this way, get through the gate, and actually head back into Volthoom. Now that we're back into Volthoom, let's go through the barricaded door that we thought we could go through the other time. Now that we're walking through here, let's go this way and find the man himself, Valdar. You found the vessels. What am I, I going to do with these? In life. Have Norak drained his own blood from his body. His goal was to transfer his power back into himself after death, becoming a powerful lich. The vessels contain that very blood. Empty them, and you remove any chance he has of regaining his former powers. This seems dangerous. More dangerous than you know. Left alone, however, he will awaken when he has grown too powerful to be stopped. This is the only way to be sure. I'm ready. Very well. Empty the vessels into the sconce near the throne. Then sit in the throne. When you have done so, I will unbind Hevnorak. He will awaken in a weakened state, but the Lich is still to be reckoned with. Be ready. Now you walk up these steps and place his blood inside the stone. What? Sons and then sit in the throne. Once you do that... Now you can actually... Kill... Now your goal is to kill Head Norak. He is very weak. He's almost... But now, make sure to kill him. You don't want to just die from him. Stop avoiding my power attacks. You have nowhere to run, man. You can't actually trap him in a corner and he actually can't go anywhere. It's very useful. But sometimes he might avoid this. You have to like get him to back up. But now we done it. Make sure to take his bone meal, his gold, his ruby, Take his mask and his staff. Now he will turn into that. Now walk back to Valdar. Thank you, hero. Now I may finally rest. Take of Norak's iron mask. It may be of use to you and serve as some reward for your feet here. Now you've completed the quest, Evil and Waiting. 
then he just disappears and you never see him again. Now, just w simply take that mask. Now, I'm gonna give you an idea on how this looks. Yes, I know. I made my character look really creepy and look weird. I don't care. But... Um... He look... It looks really cool. But let's head to... Heb Nordic's staff. Now we've basically just turned into Heb Nordic. This is a very, very good staff. So, Heb Nordic's staff sprayed on the ground, it creates a wall of lightning that does 50 points of shock damage per second. Now, so if someone walks through this wall, they'll get really hurt. Well, obviously not me. But now that we have, well, oh, little thing, make sure to just be cool. Sit on this guy. It's fun. But simply walk out the temple and go back to what you want to be doing. And that's what I've got for you today. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.